I'm Nathaniel Kennedy with origamiforpeace.org. Today we are going to fold the goldfish. Now, the goldfish is made out of half of a standard size sheet of origami paper or a triangle. And then it really helps if you can. What I do, I use my thumb and my index finger to get a really sharp crease. Now this is the one we're going to cut off, but this figure uses the, the other diagonal fold too, which I'm going to fold outside out. So, just fold it like that. Now here is where you are going to need some scissors, which get used to cut off the crease, and to the best of your ability, try to cut off only the crease. Just like that, two halves. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold both of these into what's known as basic fold three, where I just fold into the center right here. Like that. And I fold going down in the other direction. Now, there's this fold here and this fold here. I'm going to crease this down a lot harder to the point where these two meet. this and then I just hold it down like that and now I fold Get that in the other direction. You can tell here's the tip where all the folds meet up, and so I want to crease it hard to right about here. Fold this in. Now we've got the two folds right here where we want to fold this together. Fold it down in one direction. Helps to fold out in the other way too. So there is basic fold three, which is where we start. I'm going to go ahead and fold both of these into this.
And now I open that up. We've got the two folds coming in here. Or now I just want to fold this in half. in the crease <coughs> and now there's out of one square sheet of paper we get two bases here and so now for the first fold fish I'm going to want to fold into the center right here fold it up till this crease right here. Unfold that on one side and then I want to do it in the other direction of the other side. They're going after somebody. So now it'll look like this. Now the trick here is when this is going to be the inside so this is the outside here and what I want to do is fold right to where those lines intersect bring this down and fold across like that and that brings us step five and six and now seven is to unfold all this now at seven it's showing the inside here where we want to fold the uh, this tip right here into those folds that we just did where they all intersect in the same spot so it's going to look just like that and that matches Step eight. Now for step eight, we want to fold this in half, and then that goes on to the next page. So now it looks just like step nine, and what step nine is telling us to do is the creases that we put in right here. We're going to just use those to get this to fold over and make a little more of a fish head. Like that. Now this next part is about folding this part in. It doesn't show this on the diagram, but the easiest way to do that is to open it up so that uh, we want to fold this in and we want to leave a nice healthy margin right there about that much and fold that down fact, I'm going to unfold a little bit of the work we just did just to Make this a little easier. So we've just folded them in 
just like that. Now I'll fold in half again. I bring this back into place. And now for step 10, we want to start creating the goldfish tail. So I fold it down. this. So now it matches step 11. And this is one of the tricky folds here. Um, let's see, we need to open this up and create a little bit of a sink fold so it's going to look like that but we need to do a mirror image fold basically the same thing on the other side notice how I'm sinking this in right here So now it looks like step 12. Now step 12 is just simply telling us to uh, take this and fold it out just a little bit. Just like that. And on the other side. So now the next thing we're supposed to do is finish 12, now I'm moving on to 13, and that's telling us to take this whole tail spot and fold it up like this. So now at this point, he matches step 14 right up here and the next thing we got to do is we want to fold all of this down like that And as soon as we've folded that down, step 14 to 15, we're going to take these, uh, let's, see, get a, let's get a good view of this. So pretty close to done. Step 15. Now what we want to do is take these, uh, fins and fold them down like that. Take the other one, get them to match up. And in fact, uh, at this point, before finishing it, make sure he stands on, on his fins. Just like that. So now, what I want to do is this area on the tail, I want to open it up like that so I can fold it 
down. So it'll look like this. And in fact, that is step 17, which is the last finished step. Now what I, what I do that isn't in the diagram, kind of is in the pictures, but you don't see this in the diagram. You want to open the body a little bit just so you can uh, get in and kind of puff them out. Just make them a little more three-dimensional. And that is the first one. Now we've got the base to make a second one. So, starting back at the beginning. this in. Then we're going the other direction. The trick is you want to line these uh, the edges up. Just like that. Which brings us to Step five, where what I want to do is right here where all the folds are intersecting, I want to use that as the point for folding it out, folding this over. Now, this is step six right here. I want to unfold that, the fold we just made. It was just for getting the crease in. And then for the sake of uh, bringing this in so he has more of a nose, I want to fold this in. And now we are at step eight. Right here. Now what step eight is telling us to do is to fold this all in half. And we need to go to the next page. Now what we want to do the those folds we've just made in the very beginning, I'm going to get them to uh, come out and let us collapse this into a head like that. Then we want to open this up and in fact if we unfold a bunch of this it'll make it a little easier. But what I want to do is fold one edge to the tip here and the, other, the mirror image fold to the other tip. But we do not want to fold it all the way into the center here. <coughs> and one of the tricky parts here is getting them to both look just about exactly the same. Fold this back in, bring the head back again, and now we are halfway through step 10, which is also telling us to bring this down for the tail. Just like that. 
And then it's also saying a diagram of where I want to fold this in. So it'll look more like that. And then on the other side, same thing, basically do a sink fold here. So this right here is on step 11. And then 11 is also telling us to open this up and get a little, another sink fold going. So now we are on step 12. Okay. Now on step 12, it's telling us to take this, to take this edge down here and to fold it out. Hey folks. Okay, now on to step thirteen, which is to invert this coming up. that's gone up we want to hold this up for it like that which is step 15 and then the best of your abilities you want to take these and bring them down We're also supposed to fold this out that that may help get these to come down a little easier. We also want to invert this. It comes out like, like that. And now, let's see how well he'll stand. Oh, pretty good actually. Where are we going? Oh yeah, and the last step of mine, you always want to open the body up, just kind of pull it out a little bit, just to give them a little more of a three-dimensional look. And there we go. That one actually came out pretty good.